can a beginner use a paint sprayer? If you are a novice, you can use a paint sprayer, but you must practice using it before painting the item you plan to paint. Get scrap plywood or scrap materials that match the type of materials you plan to paint. Get a feel for handling the gun. And understand the flow rates and thickness of the cartridge. See how the spray fans out, look for overspray and see if you notice drips. Practice moving the spray from side to side and look at how the paint spray is affected by moving closer and further away from the object. Also wear old clothes that you don't care about getting ruined by spray paint. A paint sprayer is convenient for applying paint in less time than with a brush or roller. Painting with a sprayer makes, a, makes the work easy on big or small jobs. You can stain a paint with a sprayer or use one to paint an entire house exterior. Paint sprayers have an obvious advantage. They can spread paint, stains, and clear finishes faster than any brush or roller, but just as important is their ability to apply an even coating to uneven surfaces like window, shutters, and stairs, balusters, fertile ground for brush drips. So basically, is it better to brush or spray paint? Hand brushing a new color may not give you the complete even coverage you are looking for. A spray gun will give you full coverage and a more even coating you are looking for your new paint color. Which feature free features to look for in the best paint sprayer? A well-built motor equals a well-built paint sprayer. The nozzle of sprayer machine or gun must be sturdy. The pressure with which the paint sprayed is a game changer in the painting process. The sprayer's flow means the flow with with which the paint will come out of the sprayer. Is it easy to use a paint sprayer? I have got many questions like this in my inbox. Paint spraying may seem easy at first, but it can be tricky to learn to do well. If you have never used a paint sprayer before, now you may not be the best time to learn. Graco Magnum X7 Part Airless Paint Sprayer when you are tackling larger home DIY spraying power projects, you need a machine that has a ability to cope such as the Greco Magnum 7. With a recommended annual throughout of 125 gallons, it's sufficiently robust to deal with house exteriors, expensive deckings and sheds and outbuildings. What's more, its 163 horsepower pump delivers a welcoming 300 psi, providing rapid coverage and capable of utilizing dense paints such as lacquer. The unit features the industry respected NG2 gun, a handheld pistol that requires less physical effort than its competitors to use promises and even an debris free finish with its handle co incorporated filter. Aimed at the hardcore DIYR and a handy person, the X7 is mounted on a wheeled cart to allow for straightforward portability. No heavy lifting is required and a suction line to that draws directly from original paint or steam containers. There is no need to either fill or refill this machine. Variable pressure contrast permits you to adjust the output intensity dependent on your spraying magnum or coating thickness requirements, while an included hair flash adapter enables you to hook the unit up to a garden hose post projects for a hassle-free cleaning. I got first rather skull DIYs. Let's talk about the pros of Greco X7. Ideal for large skull DIY projects, car mounted pump unit, lightweight SG2 gun, 25 foot hose supports up to 100 feet, 160 horsepower output, power flush adapter, push prime for simple preparation, suction hose means no filling with paint. The sprayer's flow means that the flow with which the paint will come out of the sprayer. Sometimes you need a heavy flow such as for a large project. Sometimes you want lighter flow whenever you are working in a small space. The flow of the paint should be adjustable according to your project. You should buy the one that has a highly adaptable build. 
is it easy to use a paint sprayer? Well, paint sprayer may seem easy at the first, but it can be tricky to learn to do well if you have never used a paint sprayer before. Now, may not be easy to waste time to learn. Apply paint, paint by advising droplets or two of a spray nozzle, good for exterior, better at handling thicker lattice paints, causes some risk of injection injuries, high pressure makes tool difficult for beginners to use, an expensive tool that is actually rented. There are three alternative spray painters available for the paint sprayer, like horizontal, vertical, and vertical and circular. It has five different nozzles like 1.2 mm, 1.5, 1.8, 2.5, and 3.0 mm. For various painting projects such as furniture, automobiles, fences, exterior walls, garage doors, garden tables, and chairs, etc. It is detachable, making it easier to use, clean, and the painted output can be controlled by adjusting the flow control knob on the sprayer to obtain different paint outputs. Let's talk about the pros. Its copper nozzles can withstand more pressure than plastic nozzles. High quality nozzles are less prone to flung. Every component has a pass through a 1.5 meter millimeter high drop test with a full load in the bottle. And let's talk about the constant. It cannot be operated by a battery. That's all for my today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Wagner Spray Tech Control Spray Double Duty HBLP Stain Spray is the best one for you. Incorporating a two stage turbine suitable for indoor and outdoor applications, we have found the right one for you. The Wagner Control Spray Double Duty is designed for small to medium projects with an emphasis on staining and thin painting. Variable flow control enables you to tailor the liquid medium delivery dependent on the coating thickness you require and with a spraying rate of 4.9 fluid ounces per minute it permits rapid yet even coverage. A straight mirror to control finish nozzle promises a smooth finish and a quick turn of the end caps allow you to select between a choice of the three spray patterns.